Hi, and welcome to another episode of the African Ear. Only one person. Only one person. Only one person. Wow. Only one person. Today we are going to look at top 10 most protected presidents in Africa in 2024. The 10 most protected presidents in Africa are those that have the most impressive security details, protecting them and their families 24 hours of the day. First on the list, number 10, Mamadi Domboya, is the president of Guinea. He has held the position since 2021. He is a military officer and he rose to power on the back of a coup. No doubt, he is certainly wise in ensuring that he has adequate security so as not to suffer the same fate as his predecessor. He is protected by an elite squad of soldiers, all dressed in combat outfits and openly brandishing their Russian male rifle. These men are armed pig from the finest battalion of the Guinea army and they surround him completely when he steps out of his car. He is driving around in a black Humvee and the motorcade is 10 vehicles long. The ninth on the list is the president of Kenya, President William Ruto, who has been the president of Kenya since 2022. He inherited an impressive security duties from his predecessor, Mouro Kenyatta, who was known to be one of the best secure presidents in Africa. William Ruto motorcade is probably the most elaborate, 15 motorbikes traveling in a V-shaped formation, and 12 SUVs seeding the president's car at all sides. His car is an armed Toyota Nakuza and has similarly powerful vehicles in his motorcade. He is protected on all sides when in or out of the vehicle. Yet on the list is President of Rwanda, President Paul Kagame, who has been president since 2000. He was previously a military leader. He headed the Rwanda Patriotic Front, which was part of the civil war in the 90s, and which brought an end to the genocide in 1994. He has helped rebuild the country, its economy, government structure and society. He is one of the most respected personalities in Africa. That does not mean you should be carefree in this life. He is driving around in an arm range rover sentence and they have matching vehicles in his motorcade which can retrieve vehicles. He has a small army always around him. They include bodyguards on foot that surrounded him and when he is driving, they are motorcycles in front of his car. The seventh on the list is President Abdel Fattah al who is the president of Egypt. He is one of the most protected presidents in Africa and understandably so because he took power in a coup in 2013. He removed the democratic elected president, suspended the constitution and installed himself as head of a new government. In order for the same thing not to happen to him, he has to be well prepared. He is driving around in a black Mercedes Benz S600 limo and the vehicle is seated within a motorcade of some 12 vehicles. He is surrounded by at least 10 bodyguards with special training. Sixth on the list is President Cyril Ramaphosa, who is the president of South Africa and as such, he is arguably the most important personality in Africa. His importance is hackled by the fact that South Africa is the most important economy and also the most important political zone on the continent. The full extent of President Zeri and Afosa's security details has only recently come to light. This was due to a well-reported international scandal that broke out in Poland and which is suspected to have political understands. The President's security details were reviewed permission to unload 12 containers containing weapons. These weapons and other security gadgets are thought to be for the protection of the President. They also reviewed the group from coming out of their plane and men were said to number dozens. Here, the visit was to meet with President Putin on a sensitive diplomatic mission, and it was made at a time of war. In other circumstances, he may not have needed that much security. The fifth on the list is President Bola Ametunobu, who became the president of Nigeria in May 2023. He inherited a robust security structure, the state security service, which is the Allied Force whose duty is to secure the president and his family, along with other top political office holders in the country. Of course, this structure has had to be built up in recent years. 
Il y a aussi un attaque contre Eagle Squad et le début de la vie pour le former président Gullo de Nathan. Furthermore, le pays a été engagé dans un homme pour une soldat qui a vu multiple militaires installations attaquées, including the presidential filler itself. As a result, the president is surrounded at all times by at least 12 black suited men of the SSS. And they are accompanying his car and his person. The car itself is a Mercedes Benz S600. It has two engines and six cameras to withstand gunfire and even bombs. His car is shielded by a motorcade of eight vehicles. And depending on where he is going, he can even double his security detail. The fourth on the list is President of Zimbabwe, Amazon Nagagwa, who came to power through a coup, which explains why he has to be heavily guided to prevent the same thing from happening to him. To be fair, the coup was widely popular as it removed Robert Mugabe, who has stayed in power for 30 years. Nevertheless, he still has to be extra careful because some political opponent may favor force as an option. In Nagagwa toward them, by utilizing every security fee, whenever he makes public appearance, his body guys number are infantry and they are all dressed in black suits and carrying matching briefcases, suspected to contain automatic firearms. These body guys completely surrounded him whenever he stepped out of this vehicle, and the vehicle itself is a heavily armed Mazdis s class which is the standard for world leaders. Imagine Nagagwa can be forgiven for his robust security. He survived a bomb incident in 2018. The third on the list is King Mohammed Via of Morocco. The King of Morocco is another absolute monarch. He is one of the very few rulers who hold all the power. It is certainly wise of him to make adequate provision for his protection. There are many misguided people who may want to take it upon themselves to enforce political change. The King is mostly driving in a Mercedes Benz S class which is the standard for world leaders as it is armed and comes fitted with two engines as well as catches supplies of weapons for self-defense. The vehicle never travels alone. He is driving in a motorcade that includes an armed Range Rover and Humvees bringing up the rear. This can be described as a small army. It has soldiers, weapon experts, communication experts and a medical unit. The second on the list is President of Cameroon, Paul Bia. Having spent um, 40 years in office, Paul Bia of Cameroon is rightly pounded that someone is eager to see him out of office, through blood if necessary. He is one of the African most protected president, moving about with a convoy of nearly 20 vehicles. In a recent celebration in France to mark his longevity on the throne, Paul Bia was seen completely surrounded by empty men. The protection was total to the point that it became difficult for photographers just to get pictures of him. These same men almost completely surrounded his official vehicle as he approached the venue. The vehicle itself was an armed limousine, which makes it seem rather unnecessary that it should be so guided. The expenditure available to Paul Bia on his personal protection seems unlimited because he is virtually an absolute monarch and as such, he is not answerable to anyone. First on the list is Alassane Ottara. Alassane Ottara is widely accounted to be the most heavily guided president in Africa and I even gets a mention on the world list. This understandably so because he arrived to power on the back of a conflict and there are still many who insist that he will save the position with the help of France. He arrives to international summit in a black Mercedes class which is armored and fitted with two engines. He never travels alone. His Mercedes can reach up to 20 vehicles, including buses, vans, omnibus, and Range Rovers. The true strength of his security details have not been revealed. In a video, the buses were not open, but it is assumed that they were filled with soldiers who were on standby. His body's guide numbers 12, and they not only keep him safe, they also keep on lookers at a good distance. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. See you on another episode of the Hurricane Year.